Hey everybody, this is Rocco. Welcome back to Let's Play Nino Kuni Wrath of the White Witch. This is part 17, and yes, two recordings, two days in a row. Amazing. Alright, let's get right into it. Last time we killed the uh, Nightmare Dude. So we're going back to see <coughs> Non Moaning Myrtle. Oh, that's almost moaning. Oliver, what is it? Well, uh, if my father sees you, he'll... Myrtle, come with me. Huh? You can go outside now. You're not sick anymore. I... I can't, Oliver. Just thinking about going out there gives me goosebumps. Myrtle. Oh, Go on out and play, Myrtle. But... Father... Sweetheart... I'm so sorry. I don't know what happened to me. I wasn't there when you were sick, when you needed me, and I was fighting with your mother the whole time. I guess... Maybe the thing was keeping you closed up in here. Maybe it was me. Father... You were scared somewhere deep down that if you went away, even for a little while, your mother and I would lose the one thing keeping us together. That we, we wouldn't be a family anymore. Yeah, I'll look at Drippy. I'm right, aren't I? That's why you... Why you were... Something deep inside you wouldn't let you leave the house. Spleen. That's her spleen. <laughs> It's all right, sweetheart. Your mother and I, it's going to be okay. Father! Please, Myrtle. Please forgive me. No. Oh, I do. <laughs> Daddy, I Trippy. do. Uh. Are those tears, Bunton? Huh? No, they're not. So much for you being honest. You can't talk. You're Oliver. dressing in that hat. I don't know what that means, but yeah. I'm going to try. I'm going to go outside. Will you come with me? Murder. No. And she burst into flames. She was right all along. I'm so happy for you, Myrtle. I couldn't have done it without you, Oliver. I'm going to go outside every day from now on. I'll go to school again and meet new people and buy new clothes. It's so strange. I was so scared to come outside, but now I feel brave. I feel like I could do anything. And don't get carried away, young lady. Listen to her, man. All of a sudden, she's got more courage than you could shake a stick at. I can feel it from all the way over by here. She does, huh? Mr. Drippy, there's someone in Alma Moon who could really use some of that courage. Nice thinking, Ollie boy. A drop of Myrtle's newfound bravery is just what we need to kickstart young Esther's recovery. Is something the matter, Oliver? Myrtle, I, um, know a girl who's just like you, and she's going through something terrible. Huh? You're so brave, I wanted to know if you'd let me give some of your courage to this girl. To help her, and to help her family. Of course, but how do we do that? Well, first, you undress, and then... Oh, wait, no. We use magic, and I know just the spell. Magic? You're an interesting boy, Oliver. But sure, go ahead. All right, close your eyes. Like this? No, the other way. The person next door keeps walking around their yard over and over and over again. 
<coughs> I've got courage. Um, it's funny because we just got two new ones very close to each other. And yet we've been playing for almost eight hours and it took that long to get the second one. Wait, how long has it been now? How long does this say it's been? Oh shit. It feels warm. My heart, it feels warm. That means the magic worked. Thank you so much, Myrtle. Now my friend can finally start to get better. I'm glad. Right to Wally boy. We've got some cutters to deliver, in it? Let's get going. Sure. Myrtle, I have to go now. Wish your friend luck for me, won't you, Oliver? I hope she gets better soon. Thanks, Myrtle, I will. See you soon, Oliver. What? Oh, ah, keep doing that. Jesus. 8 hours, 14 minutes. Alright. That's all I was checking on. Uh, what's going on? Oh. Okay, so I need to dealy the doohickey. So we'll do that. Let's doohickey this. Dealy that. Alright, back in our mamoon. Oops. Oh, that's right, we have so many things to do here, don't we? No, not so many. <coughs> what am I? Arg. <laughs> Maps and or walking is hard. Hey, come back here. I remember you. Jump magic. Oh, God. There she is. Oliver? Huh? Tidy, it's just like I thought. We've opened our heart back up again. You can mend it for her now. Don't worry, this will only take a moment. I'm gonna give you Myrtle's courage, okay? Yep, her heart's wide open. Just fire in that courage and Bob's your uncle. <laughs> Stole a piece of your heart. My heart? No, your heart. Is it really you? Oh, my dear daughter. Father. Oh, forgive me, my child. <laughs> <laughs> you were rubbed the mouth were moving. But I. I have only myself to blame for the loss of my own. Oliver, it is you who taught me this. You have my thanks. You're welcome, Mr. Ashad. I will join you in the fight against Shudar. The day will soon come when the clarion rings out across the land once more. The clarion? Oh, it's an old story from way back, that is. Back when the world was at peace, like. The three kings of our world combined their skills and knowledge to create a flute that symbolized the great peace. The sound of this flute came to represent the unity of the nations of the world. It's like drunk people created that flute. Since the call of the clarion was heard. Ten minutes. Not since the three kings got into a right old potch and fell out, I heard. It's up to us. The clarion will ring out again and we will be the ones to play it. <laughs> Very well, daughter. Let us do our best. Let us help Oliver in his fight. Thank you so much, Mr. Ashad, sir. 
Let me come with you, Oliver. I want to help you fight Shadar. I have a familiar to help me, just like you. Here, boy. That is a Psyduck, pretty much, right? Wow, you can fight with familiars too, Esther? Indeed she can. Esther's talent lies in the training and handling of familiars. I keep wanting to interject Drippy's accent into everybody. So, she's more of a familiar keeper than a wizard, is it? Fair enough. Useful folks to have around, they are. This is my Drongo. His name is Gogo. -Go. Say hello, Gogo. -Go. Sigh. Esther has actually joined the party now. Very good. So can we have multiple... I don't know. We'll find out. <laughs> He's all like... Okay, done. Tidy. Now that's settled, let's get down to business. You remember when young Oliver came here for Renit Rashad or what? Not when. Mr. Drippy. I do. You wish to learn the arts of the sages, do you not? Y yes, sir. Then you will need these spells. Puppet string. Secret ingredient. So I wonder if, uh, if puppet string is like, um, uh, what is it? I'll think of it in a second. Magic lamp, pulse spell. Jesus Christ, why don't I get ton more spells? Thank you, Mr. Rashad, sir. I am satisfied that you do not lack the determination required. You came here from another world to face Shadar, after all. Y you knew about me being from another world, I mean? Hmm? It was your actions that revealed your origins to me. You healed Esther when I could not. Which told me that you must have helped her soulmate in the other world. He knows too much. We must kill him. And only one who called that world home could have done such a thing. Wow, so Oliver is from one of the other worlds you told me about, Father. And he was the one who saved me. Yes, it's strange. It feels like I've met you in a dream or something. Oliver, it seems there are things that only one such as you can do. You may be able... Oops, I hit the button before. I may be able to do something, apparently. Thank you, sir. I won't let you down. I will beat Shadar. Perhaps, but you will need much training first. Without complete command of the martial magical arts, you cannot hope to defeat him. Four great sages could not overcome the Dark Jinn. For a mere boy to do so will require more than enthusiasm alone. What are you thinking? He's, what, what are you thinking? He's going to need to cram a shed load of experience under his belt in a heck of a short time, any? Indeed he is. The kind of experience offered by the trials of the sages. Uh oh. Sounds very trying. Oliver, you must undertake them. Trials? Where do I take these trials? In court, silly. In the north of the desert, at the Temple of Trials. Hmm, aptly named. The Temple of Trials? You mean... I do. The home of the Supreme Sage, Master of Familiars. You too have much to learn, Esther. Only those with the Supreme Sage's blessing are permitted to open the doors of the temple. I will accompany you. Hmm, it's one big gangbang party. Big gang party. Bang. Thank you, Father. You will be great at the trials, Oliver. I know you will. Sigh. <laughs> Thanks, Esther. And thank you, Mr. Rashad, sir. Jeez, everybody's traveling. How about we just take this whole town? Okay, well, you know, there's lots of thingies to do. Um, oh, wait, there's a thingy to thing. God, I'm so eloquent. I, I can't... Sometimes it amazes me how well I speak. Let's do a few of these little side things that I may or may not be able to do.
Alright. That's right, the lunch basket thing, and then what's this? Alright, quests that I already have. And I probably have this one too. Oh. Alright. Can we just say oh bitchin? <laughs> nice. That just gave me a new one to complete right away, and my old ones are still outstanding. Oh well, let's move on. You know, I probably should buy some things. Where is thing buying place? Now we just can't stop getting it. <laughs> Alright, let's see what weapons I can do now. Actually, let's take a second to... To see what I can give these people. And holy crap, I totally forget. Totally forget. Oh my god. Tuggy is chocolate. This dude is ice cream. We ever find out what this dude likes? Well, let's give him some pie. Mm, all right, not its favorite. Let's. Uh, I should have tried it on GoGo, -Go, shouldn't I have? Alright, let's equip our new friend with, uh, with this.
Okay, um... I'm gonna buy this for both of them. for him. And that for him. Leave that at that for now. All right, now we got people with us, I guess, to help fight these crazy creatures. Oops. God damn it. Alright, are they going to act automatically or am I going to have to... This is the first time I've been out of Alma Moon in ages, Oliver. Haha, <laughs> and you sure do look happy about it. Hmm. Yes, sir. The purpose of this journey is to take the trials. You're not wrong, man. This ain't a flippin' day trip, you know. Get moving. All right, all right. Lead the way. That's the spirit. Now then, let's... Hang on a minute. Did that sand by there just move? It flippin' did, man. There's a monster in it. No. Say no. Right then, Ollie boy. Since you are going to be fighting with Esther from now on, I'd better teach you some new moves, innit? Ready, you two? Yes. Now, you and Esther can fight together, man. Double trouble, tidy. Now, there's two of you. You can pick who leads when a battle starts protesting L1 or R1. Why don't you give it a go, eh? Go on, pick Esther. Alright. Alright, there we go. Now, Esther's in charge and said, see, she's what's called the leader now. That makes sense. And the leader can boss everybody around. See the tactics command down by there? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Pick it, and you can tell all your buddies what you want them to do. Easy peasy. In the change leaders mid-battle, just press L1, followed by a little tap on the old D-pad up down. Now get out there and enjoy being a gruesome twosome. Alright. What happens here? Do what you like. Don't do anything. Don't use abilities. Keep us healthy. Oh, that's cool. Provide backup. Give it your all. Huh. Let's do leader's target. Let's provide backup for now. And we'll say, give it your... Oh. <coughs> it's possible I didn't want to use give it your all. Just... Okay. I have no idea what I'm doing. Oh, that's for health. Okay, okay. Okay, I really can't attack for shit. Um, let's... let's use... yeah. Here 
Oh, this takes some getting used to. Um, Alright. Okay, next time I think I should probably use her for backup. And, yeah, I should probably be the leader. Na 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 na. Leader. Fine work, Oliver. Your magical abilities are indeed impressive, as is your rapport with your familiar daughter. Hee <laughs> hee, I do my best. You know, Oliver, I'd love to try fighting with your familiar sometime. Huh? You can do that? Of course, all you need to do is switch your familiars around. Just select friends and familiars from the main menu. Trust me, it's really easy. Select the familiar, press square, and then choose where you want it to go. Do that, we can swap familiars. Gee, that's pretty neat. I had no idea. Hee <laughs> hee, yes, you can control my Drongo as well, if you'd like, Oliver. <laughs> You're Drongo, eh? In fact, everybody has a type of familiar that they get on especially well with. Use the type of familiar that's right for you, and their performance will be that much better. You can check what types of familiars you get along well with by selecting friends and families from the main menu. Right, enough to chat you two. We need to get to that Temple of Trials, and it, indeed, it is located in the northeast of the Shimmering Sands. I suggest we head there immediately. All right. Okay, just real quick before I end the game. Let's see, um... I guess, do they just... All right, whatever. For now, I'm just going to save. Say thanks for watching. Let's play Nino Kuni, Wrath of the White Witch. Part 17. Stay tuned for part 18. I am Rocco and I am Audi. G. Funk. Bye bye.